New at 6, one local nonprofit is trying to save Christmas for children here in Lee County. Today, though, they had a major setback. That's right. Part of their inventory of toys were found soaked in their storage unit. NBC2's Chris Gilmore met with members of Omar's Heart and about what happened. He joins us in the studio, Chris. Yeah, Brittany, staff from Oma's Heart arrived at their Cape Coral Toy Storage facility this morning to find it was flooded. With the countdown to Christmas less than a month away, they began trying to save anything they can. These toys meant to give kids a better Christmas now must be thrown away. Looking down, I said, okay, do I just sit down and just cry? Audrey McFall came into the company's storage unit to find water, a lot of it. It's totally saturated. Now she's forced to rummage through these wet boxes to find out what toys can be saved. They helped me out a lot when I was a single mom. Christina Berenson is one of the hundreds of parents who have been helped out by Oma's heart. Just me and my daughter, and I had no job, and I didn't have any way to bring any gifts into the house. For the past five years, the nonprofit has been making Christmas dreams a reality. It's a family that I feel so grateful that I can remove something that might be a burden for them and spare them having to tell their kids Santa won't be coming this year. It's hard. <laughs> it really is. Because it, you want to make sure your kids have everything they need and everything they want, and you can't always do it. But now the burden is with the organization who found so many of their toys underwater as it sat there for two days. Oma's Heart collects only new packaged toys. So after all the water damage, organizers had to throw away items like this. Through all the mildew and soggy cardboard, volunteers are getting back to work to make sure every deserving child gets the Christmas they deserve. One time, Santa brought me a DVD player. <laughs> After spending most of the day cleaning up, Oma's staff say they are still fundraising in preparation for their toy event in two weeks. In the studio, studio Chris Gilmore, NBC2. Chris, hopefully they can rebound from that. Thank you for that report.